Let's talk about why CCIV stock is literally going down the tubes. We closed at $18.43, and this is an absolute disgrace. If you are a long-term investor, though, there is no need to panic here, and I've literally not changed a thing, and this has actually gotten less risky the cheaper that it does get. Now, in this video, we're going to be going over the technical analysis as well as how you guys can trade this right now to not only make money, but get a better dollar cost average on your CC. CIV position. Rumor does have it as well for every like button that is tickled, tap, smashed, or touched. It is one penny closer to being able to get a lucid air and feature it on this channel so please without any further ado hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel and with that let's get into it ccib shed over four and a half percent today and it was very very bloody now there was nothing particular to ccib there was no news no negative sentiment that we did not already know that came out today but the stock market as a whole is dumping companies that are especially pre-revenue or have a high growth multiple or a high price to earnings ratio they're just dumping out of them they don't want to hold on to them with the inflation fears supply constraints government policies and everything else going on in the economy right now that these are the last stocks people want to hold on to but this is the time as the small guy as the underdog to take advantage of this and buy these stocks at a much cheaper price now even on ccib we only went positive for briefly at 9 30 a.m and then came super close within two pennies at 11 50 a.m and shed over a dollar from this price now i'm not trying to say this is all peaches and roses because theoretically we could come down to about the 15 dollar price point and we will do some more technical analysis on this later in the video but that is where the pipe investors or private investors bought into ccib with the original valuation of 24 billion dollars i don't know if you guys remember that or not but at 15 dollars per share the total value of lucid motors is at 24 billion dollars and that is where they felt comfortable buying in and that is where they would feel comfortable buying in again now until the inflation concerns and biden's tax regulations whatever you want to call it is under control we could stay down at these suppressed levels around the 20 dollar range is really where i see us trading going into the next couple of weeks until a merger is announced and one thing i want to point out about inflation is mod low to moderate inflation is good for your investments but hyperinflation is very very bad for your investments so that is probably the number one thing that is going on right Right now along with supply constraints and shortages as well as the tax implications all of this mixed together really has these high multiple or pre-revenue stocks hurting very bad right now on another bleak glimpse of hope for the overall growth sector analysts two days ago were forecasting 1 million jobs created in april but that came in at a huge miss a three standard deviation miss only coming in at 266,000 jobs so odds are analysts are going to be wrong on the inflation data as well and that is all these investors these big money have to go off of is analyst expectations for inflation so if they are wrong we will see massive numbers of buys going in at all these stocks that have been completely beaten down much faster than they normally probably would on that note though this could turn very bullish very very fast and do be prepared for that as well because we have a lot of catalysts that are upcoming that we know about that are for sure coming but this is time sensitive we don't know exactly when it's going to happen and one of those is that an exact merger date for ccib to turn into lucid motors is set to be between now and the end of june so we know that is coming somewhere in this near-term future in this next 30 days or so but we also do have the lucid motors and apple rumors and i do believe they are going to partner on a factory because apple has all the cash in the world to make this happen and ccib has the technology to make Make this happen as well and we have an announcement for a delivery day for their vehicles coming in the next i'd say you know one two three months out they said the second half of 2021 but the sooner the better and they have been in this pre-production stage for quite a while now and they must be getting close to announcing an actual date 
to start delivering these vehicles. As far as the short volume ratio for the day, we have a short volume for CCIV of 1,640,498 shares out of a total market volume of 9,800,000 shares. And that does come out to be 16.7%. So it is high in the in the sense of anything around 20% is extremely high. Anything over 10% is high, but it is not as high as obviously we have been for the past 10 days around 21%, 20, 20.5%, 41%, 18, 17, 20, 19, 20, and 16. So we are on a little bit of a downtrend, but this could just be the market volume as a whole, but it is still elevated. But I did expect this number to be higher, honestly, just because of how much we sold off today. So I think a lot of people are really starting to freak out. And if you are somebody that is considering selling your CCIV shares, I'm not going to tell you to do so or don't do so. I'm telling you what I am going to do. And I am holding all of my shares. I am looking at this not in a you know five-day outlook, five-week outlook. I'm looking at this as a five-year, 10-year outlook or even 20-year outlook because I I want to own this company. I want a piece of the pie in this company because when you own shares, you are a owner in the company. So just because the price goes up or down, that does not mean you should sell your investment based off of that. Now, if something else were to crazy come out, Lucy Motors been lying about all this stuff. They're like two years before they're delivering vehicles or something crazy like that. That's not the case. But if they were, then I guess that's a viable solution to sell your shares. And I probably would as well. To the technical analysis, we did break past our major support level at $19 per share, and we did fall to a low of $18.30, but we are somewhat in the middle at $18.64 currently, so this could go either way. We could bounce back up over our support level at $19, or we could continue to sell off, and where I see us selling off to as of right now is to about our low as of the last couple of weeks and that is $17.62 and that is what I see as the worst case scenario as of right now if we do get a couple of really really bad days uh, we could definitely fall under this level now we could go retrace all the way back down to about $15 per share but I do think that is highly unlikely given all the enthusiasm around CCIV and I don't even want to mark this on the chart yet because I don't think it's a realistic uh, price point as of right now but I definitely do think the $17 you know 62 cent low that we've seen April 21st is quite possible but then again we also hit $25 within the same time period from where we are now back to uh what was this April 27th we were at four twenty twenty four dollars ninety nine cents per share so it is quite possible to go either way but we are definitely in a very bearish pattern as of right now ever since we really hit our high um, April 27th we've just been going straight pretty much straight down hitting lower lows pretty much consistently besides a couple days here and there and really not too much it's just lower lows every single day and this is pretty bad but we do have a lot of positive catalysts on the horizon and i do expect us to stay above this 19 dollars level that is what i expect but the technicals are saying that we could go down to about the 17 dollars 62 cent range but I would put my money on us staying above $19 unless we get continue to see an overall market sell-off and we will only know that once we go into the future because we don't have a crystal ball here um, so we don't exactly know that what next week's going to have and told or the next week after that but I definitely wouldn't be putting any short-term trades uh, in as as far as like calls right now maybe if you want to a little bit here and there but I definitely wouldn't take super risky gambles at this point just given the timeline between events we don't know when these catalysts are going to be announced as far as how you guys can average or lower lower your average cost on your shares if you are bullish for this for the long term and even implement this as a passive income type strategy if if you don't think ccv is going to continue to drop by your expiration date and that is selling a cash secured put now i did this on ccv at the $20 strike expiring this Friday and that cost me $2,000 because I agreed to buy 100 shares of CCIV at $20 per share and I did this quite a while ago I'm down 
what, 50 bucks on this, $53 on this, but I do want to hold CCIV for the long term, and I think $20 is a decent price. Uh, considering my break even is $18.90, if you factor in the $110 I got in premium on this, I think that is a good price. Now, how you would actually execute this if you are on uh, Robin Hood anyways, it's the same thing, but it, it'll just look a little different on uh, uh, different different platforms but essentially you'd go to sell call and then your expiration date you want to do at least 30 days out if not 90 days out because that's when you get the best premium and the delta is the best so i mean if i were doing a, a fresh one from start i would probably go to the most liquid contract which is probably going to be the the August or even the June 18th, I would imagine is going to be the most liquid. I'm not sure which is the actual uh, four that was originally here. So I don't know exactly that number, but you guys could figure that out. And if say you don't think CCIV is going to drop uh, or catch the care put while I was on a call. Uh, if, if you don't think CCIV is going to drop under $17.50 by June 18th, you could sell this call, collect this total credit of $167, and essentially your break even on this would be, let me pull out the calculator, $17.50 minus the credit that you would get for this, one dot. 67 and your average cost would be $15.83 and if CCIV closes above $17.50 by your expiration date you would keep this credit and have no obligation to actually purchase 100 shares at $17.50 per share so it's basically a win-win if you look at this as a long-term perspective or you want to put this money up and just try to make the passive income off of it because nine times out of ten when you are selling the premium you won't get assigned but sometimes you will but if it's a long-term conviction trade no harm is done there and i personally don't think ccib would close under 17 dollars 50 cents by this so i do think this is a good trade the only downside to this is you're putting up 100 shares worth at your expiration date so it would be uh, you do this total credit you would need seventeen hundred and fifty dollars to, to do that and like the fifteen dollar strike would be fifteen hundred dollars to do this so it's essentially just 100 shares worth um so that is how you guys would do that and i do th like this strategy i did this myself i do like it i'm happy with buying these shares at eighteen dollars and ninety cents per share i really didn't expect to actually get assigned in this and who knows if i will if we somehow shoot above twenty dollars by this friday i won't get assigned on this or i could sell out the contract and basically what you do here is just buy it says buy to close sell to open so you just buy this one back and you'd be taking a 53 dollars loss on this so i'm not going to do this unless we do shoot up really fast and all the premium pretty much gets wiped away then i might do this just to initiate another cash secured put so that's how you guys do this. I want to give you guys this information because I think it's the optimal time to do this strategy if you are going to and if you are a long-term shareholder and have a long-term outlook on CCIV. I hope you guys got some value out of this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe. And make sure to comment down below. Let me know what stock you would like to see in the YouTube portfolio. And if you guys have not been to the channel, you have not seen these videos, I am going to be depositing $50 a week, 60% into growth, 40% into dividend, and a little little bit of crypto mixed in here and there track the growth on this channel to show you guys that you can protect your money while making incredible 20 to 70 percent gains or even higher in the stock market well like i said protecting your money at the same time so if you want to be a part of that make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell i will be starting that later this week as as late as next week so see you guys later take care